Hi everyone, this is my official entry into Alan Blair's Springtime Inspired Contest and I've decided to do a whole body transformation uh, based on the flowers and the butterflies that come out in the springtime and I call this look Blooms and Butterflies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how um, to do the makeup look, um, including how to paint the butterfly on the side of your face here, and also how to achieve this crazy butterflies and flowers hairstyle. And at the end of the video, I'll also tell you how I complete the whole look, including outfits and accessories. So keep watching! So starting off, as everyone can see, I've already prepared my face and eyebrows. So I just use foundation, concealer and powder. And for my eyebrows, I use the Coastal Scents 88 Warm Palette. I just defined it using this light brown eyeshadow here. Because we don't want really heavy eyebrows for this look because we're actually going to be sort of drawing over it. And now I'm just going to move on to highlight my eyes and line them as well. So it's going to be really simple. To highlight my eyes, I'm still using the warm palette. I'm just going to use this sort of shimmery white colour here. And I'm just going to use the spongy applicator that came with the palette. So we're just going to highlight it, um, the inner corner of our eyes and sort of just blend it in. And now I'm just going to thinly line my eyes with a black gel liner. So I'm just using Max Blitz and Glitz Fluid Line and I'm going to line it using a thin eyeliner brush. So we're just going to line it very thin um, on the top and then just do a little wing on the end as well. And now I'm just going to apply some false eyelashes to my top lashes. So I'm using these ones called uh, the Beauty Case False Eyelashes. As you can see, um, they've got little like diamondy things on the end and they sort of remind me of butterflies. So that's why I'm using them. And for those of you who live in Australia, I've got these from Hair House Warehouse. Now I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with some mascara. I'm using Revlon's Grow Lashes Mascara in Black. So now we're just going to start drawing the really pretty butterfly on the left side of our face. So I'm just going to start off by using the Coastal Scent Creative Me Number no. 1 palette and just using the pink colour and the purple colour. And just also using just two um, blending brushes, I'm going to put the pink colour here and down here and then blend the purple into the outside as well and draw in the general shape of the butterfly so we can outline it later. As you can see, the pink and the purple are quite different. So um, I'm just gonna go back to the Creative Me number one and just choosing this pinky purple here and just once again using a blending brush, I'm gonna blend that color into the middle here so that the colors um, blend better together. Now we've arrived at probably the most difficult part of this tutorial and that is outlining the butterfly shape in black. So I'm just going to use Revlon's Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen in black. Um, it's just like almost like a marker pen and that's going to make it a lot easier to control. 
and I'm just gonna um, draw the little twirls with um, a really thin line on the very end. And we're also going to draw like a little trail of dots just under the eye here. Now I'm just going to draw some little white flowers just in this area. So I'm just using this white face paint um, that I got from eBay and I'm just using this really thin little brush here. And while we're waiting for the face paint to dry here before we add some other colors, I'm just going to use it to do some other little touches. So I'm just going to draw some little uh, dots on the black lines here. Now still using the same brush after you gave it a bit of a clean uh, so that the white colour is gone. Use the Creative Me, just use the purple colour here and we're just going to sort of colour in the middle of the flower. And there we are, we're actually all finished with the really pretty butterfly on the left side of our face. And I'm just gonna finish off the whole look with some bright pink lipstick. So I'm just using Revlon's Living Lipstick uh, in the shade of um, Peony Pink. And there we are, we're actually all done with the springtime blooms and butterflies makeup. And now I'm just gonna move on to show you guys the hair with the flowers and the butterflies. So I'm just gonna tie my hair into a really high bun. Now we're just going to add lots and lots of clip-on flowers. So basically here is my whole entire collection. So you can add as many as you want. I'm going to start off with the biggest one and I'm going to clip that right at the back. And then I'm just going to use the smaller ones uh, to surround it. Um, just clip it anywhere really, Any, um, anywhere will do. So now after our head is covered with flowers, um, of course we've got to add some butterflies. So 
So I've just got these sort of clip-on butterflies here. I'm just going to put them amongst the flowers. So now that we're all done with the makeup and the hair, I'm just going to tell you guys how I completed the whole look. So for my outfit, I'm keeping it more simple because um, I don't want to be really multicolored from head to toe. So I'm just wearing a simple white handkerchief dress and I'm just wearing this really cute uh, flower necklace. Um, I really love this necklace. It's so feminine and really, really girly. And um, I'm just wearing these flower and butterfly rings and painted my fingernails this springtime sort of pink color and also wearing some flower earrings as well. And for my shoes, I'm wearing these cream colored platforms. Um, they tie at the ankle. I really like them. And also, just to sort of complete the um, whole feel, I'm just gonna wear Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. I think this is the perfect perfume for springtime. I love the smell and the packaging. Um, I'm just in love with the packaging. So, I'll just show you guys the whole outfit now. So this is my completed blooms and butterflies look, um, made especially for Alan Blair's springtime inspired contest. Um, even though it is a really fancy look, I think um, it's great to wear to like dress up parties or even for Halloween if you want to be like a flower princess or something like that. Um, so Alan Blair, I hope you girls like this look and um, to all my viewers, I hope you guys like it as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!